Hello Fire Engineers and welcome back to the Fire Alarm System training course provided by the platform of Fire Engineering and with me Mohammed Al Hamad. Today I'll continue talking about the Fire Alarm System and uh, today's lecture is one of the, my favorite lectures because we go more practical in uh, using the Fire Alarm or the UE Fire Life Safety Code of Practice Chapter 8 talking about the Fire Alarm System. So while you are starting any new project or you want to know the requirement for specific areas or specific uh, uh, building in the UAE and what is the required system to be provided in this building according to the code you will find in chapter 8 table 8.3 the application of the fire alarm system for different areas today i selected two areas for easy understanding uh, the code and the requirements so i will be talking about the storage and warehouses if you have a storage or warehouses uh, industrial building and you need to design the fire alarm system or to know the requirement and select the system for this area this course is sponsored by kiwi gift store kiwi gift store is an online gift shop on instagram provide unique gifts as personalized and customized memories in a framed photo collage kiwi gift store where every gift tells a story Place your order. Use discount code of Mohammed20 and benefit from 20% discount for the platform of fire engineering follower. You will refer to the code and start reading line by line in this table. Uh, you will find uh, the storage and warehouse uh, area requirement or occupancy. Then you will be knowing uh, what is required to be provided as a fire alarm system. I have uh, uh, drafted uh, like a layout quickly for three warehouses connected together we will be reading point by point then try to apply here or to connect what we read uh, uh, with this uh, layout the point number one smoke detection and alarm system shall be provided throughout as bare section 4.3 4.3 is related to installation distances spacing what we cover so smoke detection is required this is this is the point number one so we have provided the smoke detector in each warehouse. Now the distances between the smoke detectors, the type of the devices, we shall follow what we learned in this course and we, you should follow what is mentioned in the other sections of the fire alarm system. Now, if you have a fire pump, all building, fire separation system, fire water, all other systems shall be interfaced with the fire detection. So it's mentioned about the interfacing with the fire alarm system and the other third party systems and other fire protection systems. So here I did not add any uh, interfacing module because I don't know what is installed there, but you need to know firstly, if you have a lift, you have a pump installed there, if you have any uh, 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 extract fan or any other system that need to be connected and integrated with the fire alarm system, then you will be adding uh, some more devices, inter interfacing devices to the loop. Point number three, the auxiliary rooms and the spaces the fire detection and alarm system should be provided as well. So if you have, uh, let me say, electrical room, for example, if you have a mechanical uh, room, if you have a store, if you have any other specific or auxiliary, auxiliary rooms, then you need to provide as well the fire alarm system inside. Okay? Perfect. So another point. In a single tenant warehouse, main fire alarm control building shall be located at a continuously attended location as emergency command center or supervisor room or security house or security guard house as where the building fire strategy now we are talking about multi uh, storage but in case if you have one storage only one warehouse then you need to provide a fire alarm control panel same this warehouse if you consider as a one tenant or one a warehouse only then you need to install fire alarm system and it should be in a continuously attended location another point about the requirement and the selection of the fire alarm systems in the storage and warehouse if you have a multi-tenant warehouse then single main fire alarm controller shall be permitted to monitor all warehouses in the group and the fire alarm control panel for individual warehouses shall not be required so in this case if you if you are uh, having a new project and you are asking yourself a question do i need to provide a fire alarm control panel in, in each warehouse in each tenant warehouse then it's not required because as per the code it's mentioned one controller only can monitor all connected warehouses together so if the you have a client having uh, multiple warehouses connected together of, or you have a project having multi uh, tenant uh, warehouses connected together for sure in the same area then one fire alarm control shall be provided and it should be provided like in the facility management room in the security guard house or in a tenant location as a master panel for all warehouses each warehouse shall be provided with audio visual notification devices outside such that notification devices are visible from the common 
entrance. So we have a warehouse and it's mentioned each warehouse shall be provided with uh, uh, outside notification devices, audio visual notification devices. So I have provided here uh, for sure the number of devices will be based on the distances between based on the design of the area by the designer but in general that we need outside for each warehouse a notification device in addition to the previous what we learned as well a manual call point shall be uh, added near to each exit with a distance not more than 1.5 meter as we learned from the previous lectures so the design of fire alarm systems the selection of the fire alarm system it is as simple as you go through the code and you understand the requirement for each occupancy and by applying all what we learned in this lecture about distances between the devices and the selection of the devices. Another scenario, I will be uh, referring to the UEFI Life Safety Code if I want to design or select the fire alarm system in the petrol and gas stations in the country for sure in the UE Fire Life Safety as per the UE Fire Life Safety Code of Practice, Chapter 8 as well I can find petrol and gas stations. So we will be going point by point as well to understand how to select the fire alarm system in this area. I have as well drafted a layout, a very quick layout just to explain or to illustrate uh, 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 where we provide the fire alarm system. Point number one, fire alarm shall be provided through the mini market, retails, restaurant, dining areas, service stations. So. If we have a mini mart here, we have a restaurant, we have uh, auxiliary rooms, we have uh, like service rooms, whatever, enclosed rooms, then we need to add a smoke detection and a fire alarm. So here the smoke detector is provided, smoke detector provided, the distances between the devices, as we say, we follow the UE Fire Life Safety Code of Practice Standards and what we learn in this course. In, the, in this room, if you note, I changed the device and I installed here a heat detector because as per what we learn in the heat detector lectures, that we need to install it in the pump room and any other area that we have expectation about uh, smoke generation in the room, then to avoid false alarm, we provide a heat detector. Interfacing as well, it's mentioned same the previous uh, uh, point in the industrial areas. Auxiliary rooms already we had covered. Now main controller shall cover the entire patrol station. So for the individual tenants shall not be required here. If we come and we have a restaurant, we don't need to provide a fire alarm control panel specifically for each area. So a master panel or a one main controller, we can control all areas and we can provide a fire alarm loop covering all areas uh, in the petrol station. Location of the fire alarm as usual shall be in a, a, an, an attended location like management office, security guard house. There is a point mentioned the general fire alarm from a single tenant space shall trigger evacuation alarm only in that particular tenant space. So when you design the fire alarm and you program the system, if there is an alarm here, the notification and evacuation shall be for a specific retail without affecting the other retails. Then here is talking about the fire alarm system uh, uh, sequence of operation. If no one silenced the alarm, then within 180 seconds, then a fire alarm system, a general evacuation shall be triggered in the area. Lastly, audio visual notification devices shall be provided outside each tenant outlets. So here consider as a tenant, we provided sounder. Here consider as a tenant, we provided sounders. Based on the calculation as well by the designer and the technical team, it might it might need another uh, another another sounder here. Service room, pump room, I consider also additional sounder in this area to cover more near to the pump room, service rooms, and Keep in mind the rules of having a manual call point near to the exit within a distance not more than 1.5 meter from the exit door. So provided uh, a manual call point in each areas to ensure that manual alarming can be activated in case someone uh, discover a fire in the area. So simply this is today's lecture talking about the application of the fire alarm system, selection of the fire alarm system, referring to the UE Fire Alarm Safety Code of Practice, Chapter 8, when you need to know more about specific areas or specific occupancy, then you can refer to the code. It's mentioned more about residential, commercial, even uh, malls, uh, uh, high-rise towers. Study each occupancy. You'll get to know more about a specific requirement for each occupancy. Thank you for watching. Engineers, stay tuned for the next lecture by the platform of fire engineering and with me, Mohammed Al-Hamad. Thank you.